What is up, YouTube? Good in here, back out with the My League Rebuild, and today we are doing a challenge that I also saw in the comments, so if you keep throwing them out there, I'm probably going to do it if it's if it's a decent challenge that I might want to do. Uh, all in the family challenge. It's exactly what it says. It's exactly what it says. All in the family, meaning we're going to try to get as many family members that are currently in the NBA to one team and to win a championship will this take many years who knows because a lot of them aren't great a lot of them are already older meaning we got to get the young the young guns and i'm kind of cheating by starting with the hornets and starting with Lamelo ball who's an 85 overall 19 year old so i'm hoping he is my guy to carry us to a championship even if our team is a little subpar we at least have one superstar goddamn bars drop a like subscribe if you're new and let's get to it as you see we have Lamelo ball and not only that we already have two twins here in cody and caleb they could get to like a 75 overall maybe just maybe i'm gonna try my damn best let's go get lonzo first he's the first guy we're gonna go get make sure we get lonzo ball pair him up with Lamelo, and from there we will start a good solid enough team lonzo should play defense well and all that jazz so he should help the team i don't know what i have to give up i don't want to give up a lot just in case we need it you know he's making 11 million so who's making around that that we could just give up we probably have cap. yeah we have cap so i mean y'all want malik monk you could have malik monk and then we go on from here uh second rounders i might throw in another guy I might throw in another guy, even though I'll probably have to take somebody back since this is not the off season. We are starting in the 2020-21 season. Um, just because I think it'll be easier before people start improving, like Lonzo. If I went into the off season, he'd probably be a little bit better. Um, but let's go ahead and throw in a late first rounder. It is Lonzo Ball. Second rounders. Ah, what do I do? What do I do? What do I want to do is the question. Do we throw in another second rounder? Will we need them to get the other players that I want? I mean, we should be able to get a lot of a lot of brothers. A lot of brothers out here. How much is our first one valued at? <laughs> oh, I mean, we shouldn't really be drafting. We should be trading for bros. I'll keep this Charlotte one first. I'll throw in a 2022 that one. Ooh, that one's valuable too. God damn. Oh my God um okay are they gonna say yes eventually because i'm not gonna throw in another first i mean i might throw in another late first um and okay there we go a bunch of second rounders we got ourselves lonzo we got ourselves the bro combo uh probably at the one and the two or i might be doing something crazy and i'm in case i i want to win right away of course that's always the goal uh, if we can we will i want to see does he go up he stays at an okay i like that at that point guard right now Lamelo will probably go to small forward depending on what i'm able to get but i'm i'm going i'm going for a lot of brothers here so i'm um, the next one the next one is uh, from the bucks next player i want to get is from the bucks which is drew holiday i know he declines right away but i'll just switch him to shooting guard he'll improve so his decline won't look as dr as tragic to us um or you never know he might surprise me and start improving i've seen 30 year olds improve one or two overall in this game that would be beautiful drew holiday then we go get just just why do my what am i saying can i speak then we go get justin and then we go get aaron and we'll have three brothers right there that'll take up a good portion of my bench i guess especially aaron justin don't know if he'll get much playing time but he'll still be on the team uh drew though drew though is very valuable so and he's making a lot of money right yeah he's making a buttload of money so we got to throw in either terry and somebody else or gordon hayward we'll throw in gordon hayward for now they don't want it and is he gonna be the biggest piece i think he might be the biggest piece that i'm getting so like i'll throw in that you guys give me your 2022 just in case throw in seconds and i'll throw in another player but i gotta make sure we keep some players and some first rounders because i need to trade them i need to trade them all right i'll take away their first round pick and we'll throw this in see what they still don't okay let's go Damn. Jalen and Jaden are brothers, right? I'm, I'm going to focus on the easier ones just to see if we could do it a lot, you know, just quickly. And then, I mean, he's young, right? He's what, 20 years old. He could improve. He could play multiple positions for us. Uh, power forward, small forward. We'll see what he's better at in which position. Um, 
I might finesse some and move Bismack to the power forward, man. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to finesse as much as I can. So the players that I am willing to trade away. Cody's got brothers, but I'm pretty sure he's no, they're no longer in the league, right? Our far Biombo goes to 77. Cody goes to an 83. We need to finesse so I can bring them to my freaking team. I'll give my guys Biombo. They say no because he's still not valued high enough. So I guess I got to throw in someone else. Oh, man. Oh, man. I need my first, though. I very, very much need my first if I want to make this happen, get as many players as I can back. I'll throw on PJ, then. PJ's making four. He's making... Oh, they're making a little... Okay. Okay. Give me somebody bad. Give me somebody bad. Give me Jake. And then what do you, What could you take back? Now I give you Biombo, I guess. Ah. Biombo, PJ, for Jaden. Not interested? Why? Why do I got to get finessed? Well, now we have, what, three sets of brothers? We have the Ball brothers. We have the McDaniels brothers. And then we have the Martin brothers. So that's three sets. Can I get the Holiday Bros? If not, if I can't get Drew, it's fine, I guess. We'll have to focus on the McDaniels brothers. One of them playing small forward for us. We'll be young enough. I guess we could make it happen. But I would like Drew and, and Aaron. Drew and Aaron would be dope. Problem is the money with some of these, man. Because I gotta, I eventually got to get rid of... Ah, oh, frick. Uh, okay. Cody Zeller, Brooke Lopez. But give me a first. Give me a first and I'll do it. And then I'll bring in the other Lopez brother. They want Nick and they want... Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We get a 73 overall. He improves a little bit. Plus, we get another first round that we could trade away if we need to. Jake Lehman for Robin Lopez. He's making $7 million. I'll th I don't have... Uh, okay. We have a lot of first. We have a lot of first. I guess I could throw another player, too. Uh, Brad Wanamaker. Jake Lehman. You guys take him. Okay. I don't want to throw in a first for Robin. But we'll get two seconds, please. No? One second? No? Just take my first... <laughs> Why would they not take that? I mean, uh, god damn, I gotta give up Devontae. Gr oh, it's fine. It's fine. It, that's the whole point of this rebuild. It's not a. There's not. They're not. All the brothers out here aren't great. So it's like, of course, I'm gonna get the. the not the, 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 the good end of the stick. Is that an expression? Did I just make that up? Anyways, we keep going. We keep rolling. We got another group of brothers. What we need is those holiday bros, especially Drew. Especially Drew. So, of course, I got to throw in Gordon Hayward, and then I have a million first-rounders. We could throw in the... I guess I got to throw this one in, right? I guess I got to throw that one in and maybe another two couple picks. Uh, the Bucks one shouldn't be valuable. I hope not. Three? But I need your other bros. I need your other bros, and I don't know if they'll come to the team. I will throw in Vernon Carey. Uh, I'm in pain. I'm in pain. They still said that. Oh, my God. Take three first rounders. Whatever, bro. I have to make this happen. Wait, he's not starting on my team? Oh, because he's a point guard. Makes sense. All right. Switch LaMelo to small forward. Kind of weird. Yes. And then Drew Holiday to the two just because I want the best players I have on my team to start. Lonzo at the one. Drew at the two. I still got to go get one or two of his brothers. Uh, LaMelo at the three. Jake Lehman. Why is he starting? Do we not have fours? Would a McDaniels or McDaniels be better? I'm going to try to get Aaron first and then see they want a brother. I can't give up a brother. I can't give up a, a sibling. I could give up Elijah or something. I don't know what I could give. I don't, I don't know if they're going to say yes to this at all. I doubt it. They want a It's so hard. I mean, we get another brother. Uh, what do we have to give up for Robin Lopez, though? I guess I try to trade Justin back for Robin. Whatever. We'll see if it works. Justin and a first rounder, and they're going to say yes, clearly. They're not... Uh, give me seconds. Give me se If I'm throwing in a first rounder here, uh, my goodness. My goodness. I don't want to throw in. No, 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 no. What do I need? <laughs> give me Robin back. If that works. Miles Bridges, and we get Doug McDermott back. I'm pretty sure he'll improve at small forward, and then I can trade Doug away if I want even more siblings. All right. Now to see if this goes through. Doug McDermott, don't need him. Holiday, Justin, I don't need him if I have Aaron and Drew already. Sorry, Justin. You don't get to be part of the family <laughs> in this video. They Okay, I'll throw in a first rounder. The Hornets one should be valuable. They still. I'm throwing it in. I'm throwing it in. I already have uh, Markeith as well, so... They said no? How are you going to say no? What else do I throw in here? Oh, I mean, I guess I have Terry left. I don't got to throw in my first. Uh, <laughs> I'm making them really good, though. I'm making them really good. The Clippers would acquire $6 million. Okay, if I don't throw them in, the Clippers would acquire $7 million. I guess you give me Rondo, and I give you some really nice pieces for your team. They still wouldn't take it. Take a first. 
Oh my, this is just for the brothers here. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I'm just getting destroyed. I'm getting robbed, but I have my power forward now. Lamelo, small forward. Drew, shooting guard. Point guard is Lonzo. Lopez is my center for now. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do once he starts declining. Because we do need a year or two of improvement in, in the Ball Brothers. Hopefully in Aaron. Uh, Rondo's not going to get any minutes because he's not part of the siblings. And our bench isn't the best, so I'm probably running an 8-man. I mean, not an 8-man, a 9-man. Here is the All in the Family rebuild. There's your lineup. I'm given a, there's a very starter heavy. Very starter heavy. A 36 minutes, 36 minutes, 36 minutes to our main guys. Hopefully, they could carry us to a playoff team. We don't have any picks left. It's just the nature of this rebuild, I guess. Uh, Lopez bros, Morris bros, all the holiday bros. The Ball Bros, uh, McDaniels, and then the Martins. Then the Martins down here as well. Of course, we could still go get more if we wanted to, but, I mean, we're fine for now. Enough youth, enough vets. Some of them are going to decline drastically, so I don't know what I'm doing with Brooke Lopez. I might have the worst center ever in the league and we'll try to win, with a, ch try to win a championship year one, year two, year three. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be difficult. Um, what other bigs are there out there? Besides me getting like Giannis somehow, which is not going to happen. The system proficiency is balanced. It's the best one tied with a grit and grind, but we're running balance. And we're going to go ahead and simulate season number one. We're running uh, play and physical defense, nine man rotation. And we go ahead and do this year one. See how a all family team does in this. Um, of course, we need to see improvement, like I said, or else we're headed nowhere. I'm not going to be headed anywhere. At least make the playoffs this first season. Make sure I get the best trainer in the offseason. Give some of these young guys untapped potential so eventually they improve even more into the third season. Um, and I hope they improve in this following season too. Season one, we're the third in the in the Western, Western Eastern Conference out here. Power rank five. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Hopefully the McDaniels improve. The balls need to improve. And we're on our way to a championship, hopefully. Might surprise here and get to the finals, and you never know. So, LeBron James gets double-digit assists. That's insane. LeBron James being a beast. Another MVP for him. LaMelo, Rookie of the Year. Chris Boucher, sixth man defensive player. Giannis, I wish I could get Giannis and his bros. Or Steph and Seth. Imagine that. Chris Boucher, most improved player. Coach of the Year, Frank Vogel. Stacey Morrison, executive of the year. I don't know if that's me. That was 52 wins, right? LaMelo in his first season makes it All-NBA second team. Because he's the main, like legit the main guy. Of course, he's going to make an all-rookie first team. Do we have, okay, we do have an all-defensive second team, which is great. Our defense should be really solid, too. And LaMelo, of course, all-rookie first. Player stats, LaMelo, 23 points, 8.4 rebounds, 5.6 assists, 2 steals at the small forward position. Because I needed him there if I wanted Drew at the 2 and Lonzo at the 1. Drew, 22 points a game, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals. The steals on this team, bro, by my perimeter players. You don't want to <laughs> you don't want to play against us. Lamelo's only at a B, but Drew is at an A+, plus, and then Lonzo has, is at an A as well. So what is Marcus? Uh, okay, C and C, not the greatest. Jaden McDaniels is the guy off our bench. So he's getting 10 off. Okay, that's pretty good. 10 off the bench. It says he's a 78 for now. Robin Lopez, 9 and 5. Brooke, his his, effic his efficiency is just not the best. That's okay. But, I mean, he's getting two blocks. That's what we br brought him here for, plus, you know, their brothers. Holiday, 5. He ha he struggled early on, but he's doing fine now. As long as he improves in the offseason, I am a happy man. I am a happy man. I know one of these guys was in, like, the, the G League, so I'm guessing it was Caleb. <laughs> because he's a 65 overall and he's pissed i didn't send him there just uh when we were just simulated i think the the the, the computer sent him there i want to see my defense where's my defense number one that's what i thought that's what i thought our offense is not the greatest because our guys aren't the most offensively gifted uh up there um it's fine it's fine and then we're the seventh differential so we've got a chance yes we did finish with 52 so executive of the year was probably ours and now we get to see if we get past a freaking Greek freak. The chemistry on our team has to be through the roof, right? we got to be on another level. No, we're not. Unfortunately, we're not on another level. Who did I end up giving them? Oh, wait, not simulate game. I just want to see who's on your team, bro. Jeff Teague is starting for them. What did I give them? Oh, yeah, Gordon Hayward. Gordon Hayward and Cody Zeller. So, which he's putting up 15 and 7. He put that up against us. 13 off the bench. Yeah. 
Super nice bench pieces. And I gave him Vernon Carey Jr. All right. We get knocked out and we get upset in the first season. Don't know if we would have beat, you know, the Nets or other players. Who made it to the final? The Suns made it to the finals. That would be amazing. Incredible. And uh, player retirements. I'm, uh, they might retire. Powell retires. But no, I don't see my bros out here. Gasol, so the Gasol bros retire. And now to see all the decline in some of my old guys, like the Morris twins and the Lopez twins. All right, ladies and gents. I have found Tyler Zeller. And I don't think he was on a team last season. He hasn't been on a team in a minute. So we're, I, I didn't even know he was out here in the player pool still. So he was still out here. So I could get my boy Cody Zeller back. I didn't even have to trade him away in the first place. <laughs> That's what you're telling me. That's what you're telling me. I got to go find somebody to trade away. I get, I guess I could throw in Justin Holiday. Um, I don't have picks. <laughs> They're all gone. There's no way I could get Cody, huh? What happens if I switch him back to center? Is that cheating? Is that cheating? Taking him back to center position because I can't bring him back? Oh, I still have Rondo. Say yes. They still said no. I guess I could throw in Robin as well, right? Since I'm giving away Brooke. Dude. Dude. I need Cody. At an 84, at a 79, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. I would run him at center. So I think I'm just going to switch him back to center. Because that's what I'm going to do anyways when I bring him back. So I guess that's what I do. It's kind of cheating, yes, in a sense. But I, it's like I'm not running him at an 84 overall. It's just whoever traded him away got swindled like... Oklahoma's going to get swindled right here. So center, center power forward. And then maybe that changes things. Maybe that changes things. Maybe it doesn't. He does go down a star. Um, And I, yeah, like I said, throw in Robin. Throw in Rondo. They say yes. Thank you. Uh, I guess we have ourselves our center now for the future. Because uh, he's only 28. So hopefully he doesn't decline too much. And right now I'm only worried about bringing back Markeith and bringing back Lonzo Ball. I thought I gave Markeith a contract. Hoping I did. I did. So Markeith is back just because we have Marcus as well. And we're just waiting on Lonzo. He was he was going to agree to a $5 million. He didn't want to come back or something. He was about to agree to the Lakers. What is that? Do they have it programmed into Lonzo? Like, yo, I want to play for LA. What is that? Anyways, uh, Lamella goes up three. Uh, Holiday stays the same, which is fine. Wait, actually... I thought he went up to an 89 when I switched him to shooting guard. Did he not? Okay, anyways, he's an 86, so we got to win fast. 84 for Lonzo, 80 for Cody Zeller. For, he was at a 79 at uh, the, uh, the start of the season before I switched him to power forward, of course. McDaniels actually goes up four, which is impressive. Morris goes down to a 77, so McDaniels probably going to start. Uh, the other McDaniels up to a 76. 76 for Aaron Holiday. 74 for Markeith. That's kind of impressive. And, uh, yeah, the Martins... Martin's being the Martins, Justin being Justin. I don't need him to play. I just need him to be on the team because they're siblings. Save on tap potential to the two McDaniel bros and to Lonzo since he is the one that's a little bit older. And then hopefully they improve in this offseason as well. Our center is probably going to decline. I have also signed Silas to get a better coach out here. We're going to play physical defense still. Still running a nightmare rotation. And I'm probably going to give these starters, once again, uh, the bulk of the minutes. Marcus is still starting. Okay, impressive. McDaniel's off the bench. Here is my minute distribution. Once again, 36 minutes to the both Ball Brothers and Drew Holiday. Our defense should be great still. Uh, Marcus is starting, 27 minutes. Bumped up Cody Zeller to 30 minutes just because it's per 36 is really nice. Defensively, uh, our bigs are not the greatest. We're not going to have that shot blocking ability that the Lopez bros brought. Uh, Jaden McDaniel, 78 overall. He is my sixth man. He scored like 10. So he'll be he'll be scoring off my bench. He'll be scoring off my bench. Aaron Holiday improved, so hopefully he's a great backup guard. McDaniels is out here at the small forward power forward. Don't know what he's gonna do. Hopefully he has improved as well, though. The bench isn't the greatest. Next season it might be a lot better. Let's say Aaron reaches a 77. Same thing with McDaniels. Uh Jaden goes up to an 80, so he'll start eventually. Um just the ninth man. It looks like the ninth man is the issue for our teams. But system proficiency seven seconds is looking good good it's looking great because it is the best one that's what silas runs and i'll see you guys at the end of season number two we finish in we finished third last season who knows what we'll finish this season are we better are we worse same exact position third in the conference but i think we move up one in the power ranking harden balling out mvp in brooklyn Jalen, rookie of the year Dejounte murray sixth man jonathan isaac defensive player most improved Marvin, Steve Nash, coach of the year at 63 and 19. How do we beat them? 
How do we beat them when our guys are on the decline? LaMelo on an All-NBA third team. Once again, an All-NBA team. Uh, Drew Holiday makes a defensive first, which is beautiful. Beautiful. Lonzo make Yes, that's what I was expecting. Lonzo to make it as well. I love that. I don't have any rookies. And uh, we're third again, but this time up against Miami. How are we doing? Season stats, player stats, 23, 7, and 6. Steal and a half, two steals for Lonzo. Holiday down to 15 points. I'm scared for Holiday, bro. He's on a huge contract. He's only 31, going to be 32. Don't decline too much. I need him to stay pretty good for the third season. And then I think I have a good chance for the third season championship. First two seasons, kind of tough. Especially with our guys improving. LaMelo clearly our star. Lonzo right behind him. McDaniels 15.7 off the bench. In how many minutes? 26 minutes. He's going to be an absolute monster once I start him. I think he's not starting because of his defense. So hopefully that improves. If not, I'll improve it in this following third season. Because I'm all in. I'm all in season number three. 14 and 11 for our guy, Cody Zeller. Marcus 13 as a starter, even though he declined a little bit. He says he's a 79 in this offseason here right now, or in this postseason, I must say. Aaron Holiday, 78, 8 and 2 assists, 5.6 for Jalen. And yeah, we good to go. We good to go. Tyler played a little bit because he's our other probably center on our squad, and we might not win here. Uh, but I'm I'm all in for next season. I'm all in for next season. Who is on Miami, by the way? Victor is number uh, at the one spot. Tyler, Jimmy, Precious, Bam. It's a fine lineup. It's a fine lineup. DeMarcus Cousins off the bench. Torian Prince off the bench. Aaron Baines off the bench. It's not bad. They could most definitely beat us. But it looks like we're on our way to round number two. Up against Boston. They 4-1 Milwaukee. Chicago beat Brooklyn, please. I got to somehow get past Boston, who probably has a good defense. We're, probably, we're number one in defense, right? We got to be, again. We have to be again. What's the, I don't care about differential right now. Hornets, number one in defense. Yes, our defense is great. Number three in differential. The Suns and the Nets are the only teams that are better. So we slow down our opponents, but will it matter enough in these playoffs, especially since our offense is not the greatest? It's only our defense. We come back from a 2-0 deficit. It's not enough. It's not enough. Simulate with SimCast if we are. Oh, there's seven games above two. So this might be our lucky break. This might be our lucky break. Gave less minutes to Drew. Absolutely not. He needs to play defense. He needs to. Keep it. Keep the lead. They're catching up, kind of. But I think it was too big of a lead for them to catch up to. They're still. Okay. 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And we're into the conference finals against either the Bulls, which I'm hoping won. Come on, Bulls. Bulls win. Ah, And then we're up against Phoenix, who is also really good. And, uh, I mean, LeBron James and Anthony Davis. They still have their three players. Kyle Anderson is at their small forward position. Uh, Mitchell Robinson at their center spot. What is that? How is that fair? All right. If we beat them, it was just meant to be. If we don't, I mean, clearly we shouldn't. Um, if we do, my goodness. My goodness, they choked. Because their team is stacked. And we're about to get to the finals. One more game up against the Lakers. We almost did it. I don't know how we almost did it with Kyrie Harden, Durant still there, and then they add Mitchell Robinson and then a really nice Kyle Anderson. Maybe their bench was atrocious, but we almost did it. We almost did it. That gives me confidence for season number three. We don't need to change much. Just keep all the brothers on the team. Harden wins the MVP and the finals MVP. Executive decision time. Steph Curry is a free agent. Will he want to say yes to Charlotte? I am damn hoping he is. I still need to sign Lonzo back, but the good thing is we have his bird rights. So hopefully I could go over the cap if I need to to sign him. I just got to get rid of Holiday and I'll get rid of his brother as well. And we'll bring in Curry and we'll find wherever Seth is and try to bring him to the team as well. Uh, so we can make this. Oh, he's right there. He's making eight mil. Ew. But, I mean, this saves us some money. I'll bring in Seth at the same time. And we hope to make it happen. I'm going to trade McDermott. Okay, perfect. Top 10 protected. Then a 2026 pick by them. Oh, that's kind of valuable. Of course, it's top 10 protected, though. That's why. So, um, we got some picks. And who else can I clear out of here? If I trade the Morris twins do i have i mean i'm trading i'm trading the morris twins if i have to go get them back i'll get them back if not i'll run a super small lineup of like eight players one of the martin brothers probably has to play as well one of the martin players is gonna have to play i got rid of drew right so i could get rid of justin oh wait unless i want to bring back aaron which i do have is he's a restricted free agent so i might keep justin if i can keep justin 
I can't just get rid of all the brothers. New York Knicks with the picks, and we're going ahead and doing that, and I'm hoping I have enough money. This goes downhill if I do not have the money, and I'm giving him everything that he wants. Everything that he wants. I'm hoping 48 million is the absolute most that I can give him. Um, he's expected 44. Word number one, the Nets are offering him a contract. I mean, Durant, okay, never mind. Yeah, everybody's a free agent for them, so makes sense. As long as Lonzo doesn't get a contract yet, quite yet, please don't. Um, he's agreed. Caleb, I will... Ah, I got to get rid of more bros. I can't even keep Tyler. <laughs> Can I renounce Tyler? I mean, not renounce. Oh, I mean, it really doesn't matter. I could just go get him at a minimum contract. So same thing with Markeith, I think. Um, but Lonzo, I can't. I can't give up his rights. There's no way I will give up Lonzo's rights. But bringing in Steph Curry, I already got Seth. You guys saw it in that trade. And he's coming to my team. We're securing, a, we're securing the championship. Oh, I could also keep Caleb now if I renounce Tyler. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that's fine. Especially since they're on restricted free agents to come back on qualifying offers. Now I give a contract to Lonzo. Make sure he stays and make sure he's happy before somebody else gives him a contract. I'm hoping he says yes. We're still the number one team out here offering him money. Okay, perfect. We're still number one. Here we are. Now we got to bring back Aaron um, because we still have Justin as well. So we're on our way, baby. All right, improvements to the team because Cody goes up to an 82, which is great. 87, Lonzo. 89, Lamelo. 81 for McDaniels, who's probably going to start my power forward now. Uh, Jalen is at a 77. Uh, what's his defense? His defense improved to C-minus perimeter defense. Uh, inside defense is C minus, so he's okay. Aaron Holiday stays at a 76, but it's fine. He's probably gonna be one of my uh, end the later pieces. Seth declines. It doesn't matter. Justin Holiday declines, and then Tyler declines, and then we still have the Martin Bros, the Curry Bros now, the Holiday Bros, not Drew, but uh, Justin and Aaron. Executive decision to get Stephen Curry to the Hornets, to the Hornets of all teams. That's fire. A superstar MVP, 99 overall, Seth Curry on the Hornets. Here we are. Uh, we got a, a superstar, a 99 overall superstar, an 89 in LaMelo, an 87 in, in Lonzo. This is the lineup. Jaden now starts. Jalen now is the sixth man, so hopefully he does okay. My bench is definitely struggling. My bench is definitely struggling, but my starters... They could be good enough, especially with that 99 overall. Uh, Jalen is at a 77. Halliday is at a 76. Martin at a 74. And Curry is actually getting minutes. Seth Seth is getting minutes at a 73. I don't like it, but it is what it is. That's just how it, just, just how it happened. Seven seconds is damn near perfect now, though. Championship season. We reach the number one conference rank, number one in the Eastern Conference. Morant wins an MVP, balling out for Memphis out there. Somehow we're number two power ranked though. So there's a team out there that's a little bit better than us. Ross Edwards, Rookie of the Year, six man Cade Cunningham with the Kings. Jonathan Isaac with the Magic, always wins that. Josh Green, most improved coach of the year. Silas at 56 and 26. Not the best record, not the like most insane record we've ever gotten, but I'll take it. I'll take the number one seed. Steph makes an All-NBA second team. Probably took a lot of shots away from LaMelo. So, LaMelo out here. LaMelo still out here. All-NBA third. Okay. I like that. Defensive team, Lonzo Ball. Yes, sir. We're obviously missing out on Drew. But it is what it is. We can't have everything. Player stats, Stephen Curry, 26 points, 4 rebounds, 8.6 assists. 21 for LaMelo, a steal and a half. 6 assists for him, 6 rebounds as well. 18 for McDaniels. He's a scorer, bro. He's a bucket. Scoring machine. That's his archetype. That is exactly what he is. He's improving from 10 to 16 to 18. If he had his own team, he'd be scoring 25. Lonzo Ball, 17 and 8 assists with 2 steals. 14 and 13 for Cody Zeller. Holiday off the bench. Uh, what is our... We got Seth, right? He's getting... I mean, he's not... Okay, it's not horrible. It's not bad. It's not the worst. But yeah, our bench is atrocious. Our bench is bad. Who is better? Wait, we have the best rec. Why are we number 2 in the power rank? Our offense is seventh, which, okay, may be understandable there. Our defense is not number one. Now it falls down to number three. Our differential is number two behind the Nuggets. Okay. Okay. The All in the Family rebuild, hopefully coming to an end here. Stephen Curry, Lonzo Ball, LaMelo Ball, Jaden McDaniels, Cody Zeller, Jalen McDaniels, Aaron Holiday, Cody Martin, Seth Curry, uh, Holiday right here, and then Tyler should be, uh, yeah, Caleb's here, and then Tyler's here as well. And we're up against the Knicks. These are your New York Knicks, currently the eighth seed. And um, honestly, in these playoffs, we need depth just in case a guy fouls out, just in case a guy's too tired, just in case a guy gets injured. Obviously, injuries are off, but if this was real life, we'd be uh, maybe, maybe screwed. 
we might be screwed. Kobe White, James Harden, Jay Crowder, Vucevic still there. D Rose. I love the team. I love the team automatically. Rose is on it. Rose is on it. <laughs> I love that team already. Rose is on it. We're up against Harden. I mean, Lonzo's guarding him, so hopefully he could stop him just, just a little bit. Slow him down. It's not happening. Seven game series. You can't you can't ruin this. You can't ruin this for me. We're up against the Miami Heat. We're either either up against that young Pelicans team or the old Lakers team. Miami, same old team. I mean, Precious is probably going off 20 and 9 in these playoffs. God damn, bro. Bro. That's stupid. Anyways, uh, wait, yeah. <laughs> they didn't change the team at all. Then I beat them. Did I beat them last season? I'm pretty sure they were the sixth seed, right? We were the third, they were the sixth, and we beat them. Once again, same squad. Don't know how they're number two this time. We're up against the Los Angeles Lakers. Dunn, what does he do? He does not score, but he does defend. Uh, ben McElmore can be a sniper, 41%. LeBron James, 26, trying his best. Trying his best. Anthony Davis trying his best, 16 and 12. The rebounding might be an issue. The big men that they have might be an issue for me. Um, but their bench is also not the best. Yeah, their bench is not the best. I think we could beat them. I think we have this. What's your answer to Steph? Steph goes to the Hornets, wins the championship. There you guys have it. All in the family. Only family members got minutes. Only family members got minutes. Steph and Curry, 19 points. He didn't even have to do. Where's my offense coming from? I'm going to go look at my final stats just because I'm curious now. And he gets 11 assists. He gets a finals MVP. And it was actually Lonzo just balling out against the Los Angeles Lakers. 21, 19, 17 for LaMelo. Wow. Okay. Our bench was not the best, but we accomplished it. Uh, I honestly think didn't think it was possible until I saw that Curry was out there in free agency. And we had a chance of getting him. So I made that executive decision of going for him. But as always, make sure to drop that like. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. Comment down below if you got other ones that you would want me to try. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.